वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल अध्ययन विद फ्लो लेट स्टार्ट विद इन हेरिटेंस ऑफ टू जीन्स गाइज इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर इफ यू नोटिस दैट वट वी डू वी इन हेरिटेंस ऑफ वन जीन इट मीन्स गाइज इन प्रीवियसली वेन वी क्रॉस ना वी टेक ओनली वन कैरेक्टर वी टेक ओनली वन कैरेक्टर लाइक हाइट सीड शेप एट एट पर्टिकुलर टाइम वी टेक ओनली वन कैरेक्टर फ्लावर कलर लाइक इट मे बी पर्पल एंड वाइट सीड शेप इट मे बी राउंड एंड रिंकल हाइट इट मे बी टॉल एंड डॉर्फ और पर्पल फ्लावर कलर इज वॉट सॉरी द कलर ऑफ फ्लावर इज वॉट इट मे बी पर्पल एंड इट मे बी वाइट दैट टाइम वी टेक ओनली वन कैरेक्टर वी क्रॉस बिटवीन दैम वी क्रॉस बिटवीन दैम एंड वी क्रॉस बिटवीन दैम नाउ लेट्स बिगिन विथ Inheritance of two characters means at a one time we take two characters. I repeat, at a one time we take two characters. It may be height and seed shape. It may be seed shape and flower. It may be height and flower. Whatever, guys. Mendel take seven characters of pea plant. We take pick any one. We pick any two of characters. Like in your book, they take two characters like capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y. It means. capital r capital r they indicate what guys they indicate seed shape means it may be round this is the round and this is the what wrinkled and here what they take they take seed color are you understand guys it means at a one time they take two character but in single hybrid cross they take only one character they cross between tall and dwarf but now two gene inheritance we take two characters Sheet shape and seed color. Sheet shape what? Round and wrinkle. And seed color is what? Yellow guys and green. Round is what dominant. Wrinkle is what recessive. Here yellow color is dominant and green color is what recessive character. I think you clear. Let's begin. They are cross. Look at here. This is the cross between two characters. Round and yellow. wrinkled and green okay let's begin with so how we represent rounded seed capital r capital r how we represent yellow color of seed capital y capital y now how we represent wrinkle small r small r contrast guys how we take green color small y small y if i write down on small letter na it means they are recessive if i write down in capital letter na it means they are dominant Now, guys, let's take this much gamut and this gamut. Now, cross between them. When we cross, now look at here. Look at here. When we cross, then you have to remember that you have to remove this part and take this and this because R R Y Y one dominant character, one recessive, one dominant, one recessive. But they are what R and Y, Y and R, different, different. Okay, now let's begin. Cross between them. cross between them now what you got you got these four gamut now you got these four gamut now guys how you get these gamuts how you get these four gamut you have to draw a cross you have to draw a cross i am drawing here these am i right like this thing these first generation can i write in this manner okay let's begin their cross okay we get first gamut we got second gamut now we got what third part and last is this now you clear same is this same is this another parents you are selfing na cross between them and we get same gamut like in this manner so now guys how you inheritance two characters This is the checkerboard. Now cross between them. Simple. Cross them, and you get this progeny, round and yellow. Round and yellow, guys. Cross between them, you get again round and yellow because they represent. This is the capital, and this is the capital means dominant, dominant. Always dominant show their presence. Okay, next, next. According to them, you can cross this thing. Clear. Cross this thing with this. Cross this thing with this. Again, cross this thing with this. 
cross this thing with this. Here you can cross. Here you can cross. Here you can cross. I think now clear. And you got this phenotypic ratio. So according to these dihybrid cross, you can inheritance at a one time two characters, two genes. In this dihybrid cross, what we what we inherited means a pea plant what they inherited they inherited seed shape and seed color you got only one wrinkled and green you got three wrinkled and yellow look at here look at here look at here now you got round but they are green round but they are green and now rest of the all round and yellow so this is what guys this is the dihybrid cause in our previous video we cross between only monohybrid monohybrid cross means at a one time one cross is there like capital t this much there cross and dihybrid at a one time we cross between two characters i think you better understand and how you cross i think you clear okay okay the next third law of mendel is what law of independent assortment guys first law is what law of dominance but i think this law become reject in future second law is what law of segregation and third law is law of independent assortment guys this is the same to same i draw not this checkerboard this i have a course they explaining this thing that all uh, characters gamete they show their individual response okay guys in this law na they elaborate some chromosomal effect after studying chromosome na you have uh, you got uh, uh, you get easily understand law of independent assortment let's begin with what you understand by chromosome i am uh, elaborating with you okay chromosomes where they located chromosome where they located where they found guys chromosome present in nucleus yes we know now there is a cell they contain nucleus they contain many cell organelles like mitochondria chloroplast golgi body er all right guys now nucleus they contain our genetic material genetic material we call it as a dna deoxyribose nucleic acid guys dna is a double helical structure but they are not present in this form come on guys they are not present in this form they coiled their self they coiled their self with the help of histone protein in your next chapter na there is highest explanation about histone dna okay so guys what is histone histone is what octamer so what dna will do there is a histone na histone octamer there is four na in front side four and back side also present four guys here what dna will do they coiled their self coiling is uh, further carry on and they make coil 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 this structure at last time the last stage what they make chromosome this is the what if we zoom this part na they are in this much if we unfold this part and histone protein is differentiate different manner and they are different this is the dna and this is the histone when they super coil they form chromosome and what is gene guys i don't know how you remember these thing that the uh, genes are present on dna guys there is not a bead like the gene is this this is no 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 guys there are a particular sequence like if you know about dna so here is codes here is codes like a t c g a t c g and further on g g c t a t so they are codes they are codon they specify they control one character it may be made up with four codon it may be made up with 10 to 12 codon it may be made up with 100 codon it may be made with 1000 and 1000 codons so one gene made up with one gene made up with codon guys and codon may be vary in number like they made up with four codon like one gene can be made up with four codon can be made with 10 to 12 codon can be made with 100 codon according to their how type of character they control means assume i am giving example like we know na pea plant tall height and dwarf height 
assume gene control tall height we know na gene control tall height and gene control what drop height assume 10 genes control this character and one gene controls this character means dropness controlled by one gene and tallness controlled by 10 genes and one gene is made up with 10 codon and there is 10 gene made up with 100 codon so it will be very okay look at here let me erase otherwise you can't identify there is guys cell division look at here look at here g1 phase g2 phase guys in your 11th class i think you are familiar with this thing g1 phase g2 phase meiosis meiosis second and germ cell g1 phase this much chromosomal structure is present in s phase there is duplication of genetic material means if this trend na in s phase now after after s phase they become this much g1 phase s phase and they enter into g2 phase come on guys i think you are familiar with this so you look at here that time they are normal single now after s phase they duplicate their self and this duplicate stage enter in g2 phase and they divide they make me uh, they enter in meiosis meiosis 2 and jump set look at here this is the meiosis first anaphase stage this is the what meiosis 2 anaphase stage and they segregate they separate and they form jump set so this is the law of segregation law of independent assortment now let me draw a simple let me draw a simple thing this is the cell cycle this is the cell cycle g1 phase s phase g2 phase now there is meiosis and uh, karyokinesis and guys cytokinesis phase now in g1 phase what is happening some kinds of protein will form some kinds of enzymes will form they are helpful in cell division some kinds of cyclin and cdk will form they are helpful in cell division guys but here chromosomal number is same this much now when cell enter in s phase now they duplicate their cell genetic only genetic material genetic material duplicate they enter in this phase and they enter in meiosis and in the meiosis phase they are segregate and they reach in different different cell and again this phase is come simple very simple guys very simple okay look at here in detail meiosis anaphase structure we know na meiosis meiosis prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase here is anaphase stage now what happened with them now they segregate and come into different different cell now after differentiate into different cell again they are further divided and enter into meiosis second now what happened with them i'm drawing only this cell look at here now this cell like if we differentiate this cell and we differentiate this cell differentiate this cell now what kind of a structure is this clear or not now you clear or not this is the what red in color now yaar come on red in color and this is what green in color okay now what happened this telophase after telophase they enter in meiosis second after meiosis second they again recondense in aggregate 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 unfold and aggregate and they make again wait wait what they do at a time of metaphase they again make this kind of a structure this kind of structure now what happened with them now they after entering in metaphase now they arrange in equatorial plane they arrange in equatorial plane here they pull out this is the anaphase structure now what happened with them these go this word these go this word these go this word and these go this word look at here they pulling their self they pulling their self this structure and this structure is same now what happened with this cell one thing is this now i think you betterly understand now i think you got it my point clear one is red one is green one is red one is green now clear red green red green same is this i think you are clear now this is the independent assortment of chromosome i think you are clear with that i elaborate this thing like meiosis first four part prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase first 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 and first 
after telophase fastly they enter in meiosis second again four part prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase second 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 and second and last step is what they make germ cell haploid in our next video we will discuss about linkage and recombination because you understand chromosome so you can easily understand linkage and recombination so guys we will meet in our next video that's all for now thank you guys thank you for listening to me and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel adhyan with flow thank you guys keep smiling and revision thank you